uh, what has uh, this whole NIL signing experience kind of day been like for you? Um, it's been awesome. This is my first time here at Champions Pizza. Great pizza, great environment. Um, it's been awesome to kind of, you know, being that the season ended and I'm having my time as an A&M 12th man kind of come down to a close. Gosh, that sounded really bad. But as, as it winds down, it's just, um, you know, really important for me to come back here and kind of, you know, be part of the community again and be able to come back and hang out with the 12th man while enjoying some good pizza here at Champions. Yeah, so uh, that last game, you've got a lot of playing time. You, you really stood out. What is what has life been like since since that game and kind of being around talking to people? And, and what did that game mean to you now, a little bit removed from it? Yeah, that game was special. It was a dream come true. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better ending to my story here at AM. Um, you know, getting that shot to, you know, finally get my start, having the coaches, you know, have that confidence in me and then to go out and just finish it the way we did. Um, you know, that's something that I'll be able to remember forever. It was a special moment for me. Life since then, I've moved back home and with my parents back home in League City. I'm um, just training for a pro day. I'm getting my butt kicked by uh, my trainer at HCL. It's actually Anaya Smith's father is my trainer, but um, he's been kicking my butt, getting me in good shape. So hopefully come pro day, I'm out there, or I'm able to go out there and impress some scouts and hopefully get a spot somewhere. Oh no, okay, so 100%. The, the entire journey here coming to this point has been super long and exhausting at times, and maybe, you know, some doubt starts creeping in, but you know, just the ability to persevere and keep your head down and work has kind of, you know, given me everything that I could have dreamed whenever I was a kid. So, you know, getting the 12th man, being in the spot, you know, coming back, getting invited to come back and get back to the community and, um, you know, just be here again has been a tremendous honor and I can't thank anybody enough, you know, for their role and how I got here. Why is it important to you to be able to do an NIL event like this uh, in that transition period between end of football season and, and pro day, comp, you know, moving forward? No, I mean, it's super important. I mean, as of right now, like, I have my goals set on, you know, my, my future career being, you know, wherever it is. Hopefully the NFL and my dream works out, but, you know, I think it's important to still, you know, remember your roots and remember where you came from, and that's here, and this, you know, this university is part of my blood at this point, so it, it was really important for me, you know, having this time off to be able to come back here and just enjoy where everything started, so. Yeah, and uh, what do you, where do you see the next couple of months going? What's kind of the schedule looks like and everything? Yeah, I mean, so as of right now, I'm training five days a week, Monday through Friday, um, you know, two times actually. We'll go early mornings is like more of a running session, you know, working on speed, endurance type stuff like that. And then we'll come back at 3 p.m. and that'll be more like the weight room, explosiveness type workouts that we're working on. So they have been intense to say the least, you know, borderline, you know, tougher on comparison to some of the stuff that we were doing here at A&M. So, um, you know, it's just important for me to really trust the process and, you know, trust my trainer and hopefully everything works out. I go out to the pro day and have an impressive day and, you know, can earn a spot somewhere. So I'll keep my fingers crossed. And is defensive secondary kind of the place that you're telling people? I mean, I'm sure you play anywhere, but right. where are you? kind of training for? I mean, as of right now, I'm marketing myself as a special teams guy. I mean, that's kind of where I made my money. I found a home here at A&M. And, uh, you know, it's really given me everything that I could have dreamed for, just my role on special teams. So, you know, as far as the scouts reaching out to me and talking to me and, you know, me kind of just assessing the whole situation, I think special teams is where I'm going to find my home at first. But who knows, maybe somewhere in the defensive backfield, I'll find, a, you know, another role. Yes, sir. 100%.